Hi, I'm Chris Brooks and I'm trying to improve in the art of improvisation. So how do you improve in anything? You set yourself problems, you work on them, and you benefit from the feedback. Today I want to talk about vibrato. I have a long love-hate relationship with vibrato. When I was taught, I was taught to vib vibrate on every note, and you'll hear most classical players these days vibrate on every single note. No wonder they're tense. You can't be shaking like you have Parkinson's disease on every single note. And, and remain relaxed. Well, some people are able to pull it off, but it's, it's a lot harder. So I s s eliminated vibrato in my quest for being a more relaxed player. Then as part of working on improvisation, I would record myself, which I still do a great deal, and I noticed that vibrato really didn't work very well in improvisation. It felt fine, particularly in jazz, but really in, in everything I do. Vibrato, a classical vibrato sounds very artificial and, and kind of stuffy. So when you eliminate vibrato, you realize that there are all sorts of ways that you can manipulate a note. So I take a note and I can do things with the bow or I can adjust the pitch, which is kind of like vibrato. So there are all sorts of ways to affect a note, including uh, embellishments. I didn't do that. So once you eliminate vibrato, all these other possibilities open up. So to a classical violinist who wants to be a better improviser, that's me, I would recommend eliminating vibrato entirely and when you've discovered all the other ways that you can approach expression, invite it back in, but in its appropriate place. So I'm really curious to hear what you come up with now, and what would you like to hear me work on?